Hello? 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 <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just multitasking here. Bear, bear with me. There we go. Okay, that was for uh, <clears throat> my interocular uh, pressure de des desiccation. De de uh, <clears throat> Well, I'm sure you know the word. There you go. Okay, so uh, where are we now? Well, I don't mean where are we. We're out at the uh, covert uranium basin, aka the semi duck pond. And I'm going to try and catch up and give another more about me uh, dating. D <coughs> yes, the Craigslist dating, because at the least I should be able to entertain all the. <coughs> not Nigerian, uh, but those that are claiming to be Nigerian um, um, internet fraudsters, and well, we already covered that, right? They're just the hired shills trying to hack the crap out of things like Craigslist, and who, you know, send you with your credit card over to the only a dollar a day to start, be naughty and nice of the, of the uh, Internet cyber dating thing. Um, okay, let me just make a let me just make a a mention of the facts here because you all want to know more about the meaning of life. You know, the first one being survival, which will just lead into that their clause about reproductivity and fucking with another's reproductivity. Well, you know, in your innocent oh oh, I just want easy money because I think I'm so smart and and there's no consequences to come out of this. Man! Magic internet thing, which you all know full well, is total fucking bullshit. You know everything has always been tracked, and forever will be, uh, including the shit that those running the internet want to disappear. Not gonna happen. <clears throat> I can honestly say, enough of the dirty is backed up that. If the core burst from CG2 hit us tomorrow in full force and was so motherfucking big, like, like, like the size of, of eating the central star out of my Earth's home, the uh, Sagittarius Dwarf Galaxy, which is a black hole, I mean, most if that's what you want to call them for uniformity. <clears throat> that central mass that's so dense that, well, it shades the enormously bright light in the middle. <laughs> you know, the fusion vision reactor, the graviton smasher <clears throat> at the central of every galaxy, using standard terms. So I think I think you're still following me as much as you don't really want to. Your scams in the short and street talk thuggy. Your scams are fucking with other people's delicate reproductive process. Just as surely as as if you emptied your engine oil into a creek with uh, the or into a pond with the rarest uh, turtles in all of North America that were already 10, 10 degrees beyond genetic bottlenecking. And you just wiped out everything, even the collector's specimen that can be, you know, shelled and preserved and, and slightly extended, cloned. Yeah. So that's what you're doing. Don't, don't you get it? Amongst the sexual perverts, the people, the kind of people like me that would resort to something as ridiculous and, well, kind of amazing as, uh, turn that damn thing off. Oh, well. Uh, 
excuse me. That useful screen that you can't even see. Is this thing even still on? Okay, it's still on. Didn't want to be talking the next 10 minutes into nothing. <clears throat> I was smoking some eye meds. I, I smoke at least one of these a day. <sighs> Depending on the rest of my physiology, which as we know is completely screwed and always will be. Um, but it's, it's changing. I'm adapting. So that's one thing you want to know about me. Oh, we're done. We're done with you, internet scammers. You're not interested in a mate for life, anyhow. So, so fuck off. Go sit in the corner and uh, lick your nuts and think: Do I really want to be an extinctor? Do I want to be like General Electric and all its shareholders that built uh, those three melted-down reactors uh, at Dachi, Japan? The uh, Fukushima Prefecture uh, nuclear installation there. You know, TEPCO's atomic Agenda 21 water cookers. Placed where you were guaranteed if you just kept them fizzing off water, nuking water, eventually you get an earthquake just like that. You know, even if you had to help it a longer or whatever, but we're not going to get into that. Think about what you're doing, internet scammers. <clears throat> There's no fucking excuse. Because you all know now, long before it came to this point, where I had to get blunt, you all were presented with many, many, many options. Where you could take what you now know, what you have available, and do an honest, real function on the internet that would make more for everyone. And you, you chose to be uh, Goyam, as your handlers would call you, I'm sure. So fuck off. Maybe if you succeed in doing something before they round you up for the FEMA camp nearest you, as soon as they fucking topple over the buck, and it's on the, it's on the grill, baby. Okay, they've moved all the way up, as they'll keep doing until they do it. To uh, you know, keep the military industrial complex rolling in the tax dollars you gotta create and eat, right? So that's why this this spring it's Russia's turn. And they'll they'll do like their WWF and they'll shake hands and okay okay so we're gonna do this and we'll do this and we'll do this and then we'll we'll both split this out of the taxpayers fund out of you know you all know about that okay and that's important to know about me just read the about page on Doc Comics and basically there there's your trip there there's the ride that that uh, that Clint's on that Clint Hunter's on. It's actually Clinton, which some would say was ancient Irish, but uh, ancient Gaelic term. Some would say it's Old English. None of that. I, uh, I'm neurotic about being fair about helping others make informed choices because what they do in front of me is my business. What they do before me is my business. I'm, uh, I'm not like most homo sapiens that you've met. And whatever I actually was, I'm not because I've had a lot of things happen. that have changed whatever I could have been. Uh, you already know from the earlier film that... I guess I'll have to put it there, because, you know, I haven't got that editor yet. <clears throat> Pay her in sexual favors or whatever to edit my videos. Um, <clears throat> um, 
So, uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sex is not a commodity while we're on the topic, okay? <clears throat> as much as there are those that would exploit, created a real scarcity and be tempted to turn it into such. And we already covered why. Why it's not a commodity under the first meaning of life, the second second clause. Right? That being fruitful and multiplying clause? Yeah. So, I would not intentionally seek to procreate, especially um, with the gene pool um, that is available to mix with mine because um, it's almost certainly not sustainable and will be horrible for the children so for the offspring that said if you know in the due course of practicing as often as possible um, you know some life makes it through well you've got to go with it with all conviction and serve it under the first meaning of life. See how simple that is? I guess that's why it's persevered through many species and cultures and sentience and eras. So, I try not to expect anything out of you. If I'm around, a female? Well, I gotta have sex even if I'm not. Definitely have to. I like to. I like to snuggle real close. Um, I was once asked by my only real long relationship. It lasted seven years. Uh, <clears throat> sexual fantasy? Well, you know, I just um, without getting into why I'm kind of twisted like this. Well, to wake up and find you. Doing, doing me, sweetie. <laughs> you know. <clears throat> That's got an appeal that leaves no doubt in the back of my traumatized mind that um, I am sexually wanted and I'm not being a sexual predator by the by my companion. He's, hey, Cindy. Rex, get... <sighs> One of the young ducklings, it's, oh, I don't know, about uh, ooh, th three pounds now. She's trying to befriend us. I think she's kind of had an outing with the rest of the flock. The dogs are just amazed. <coughs> well, who isn't I am? The duckling is. <laughs> um, so you got to really think about that. And I mean, if resources are there and you say hey no honey look I got to and, and if I if, if I do the more science and, and I, I gotta say well no we, we can't intentionally do this because you know it's a fruitless endeavor for the for the whatever generations survive um, because my soul's been fucked <laughs> many have your DNA, when it when it's fucked over, that's it. You're, especially if it's um, in a way that goes unstable. That doesn't mean no kids. You know, if there were resources and, and, and decided, well, you know, you you can adopt or uh, you know or conceive wisely. I'm not, uh, it's just my ultra-monogamous nature that, uh, you don't, you know, you, you be mindful about it and you don't, <clears throat> you seek not to be unmindful about it. You know, the old, um, quantity not quality thing and then you can afford to lose a bunch, well that's, that's, uh, 
rather contradictory to the first meaning of life. So, you know, pop out, pop out as many as you can, and hopefully one of them will survive and survive you. Right? I know most people don't even think about it when they're young and horny, and they just, well, there you go, and then they deal with it. Um, I, um, even if I fully retired and walked away from my ride and what I do as a conscience being, which is demonstrated in all my works, my ride through the, through the way of things, um, even if I walked away tomorrow, you don't. And so that means anyone associated with me, it's dangerous. No matter what kind of resources I had to take, what kind of precautions, it's... Uh, but then, you know, even snuggling with Mr. Conformity can, you know, have a head-on collision tomorrow in traffic, so... But nevertheless, I thought I'd have to point that out for you that haven't assumed that already. And of course you have to be female. Some kind of hominid. They have to be looking for a full full time living together, you know, making it as healthy as possible and you know don't, not going in blindly hang on let me get that snot off your eye Cindy she's still got a bit of that uh, infection that she keeps rubbing dirt in yes right thank you Cindy I'm very nurturing um I've got experience with all kinds of people and, and kids and all that even a bus driver on special needs kids that were all the one thing they the one disability they had in common was hearing and everything else you know all all kinds of uh, cognitive disabilities all forms of autism and downs and I did that for a little bit in the city couldn't afford to do it too much, but it was quite a learning experience. Um, I've, I've raised so many puppies, haven't I? C Cindy has too. Yes, yes, she's helped. She, she's never had any, but yeah, she's a virgin like me, as I mentioned before. But um, as in, never conceived. Okay, I'm here to conceive lots, eh? Yes, yes. We told your story. Okay, so there's the, the, there's the family, and um, well, Katie so doesn't generally come out to the duck pond. Um, we don't want her to, that's right. We don't want her to, because she might, you know, graduate from mice to ducks. And it's contaminated water with the natural uranium. Uh, if you ask me about it, I'll... I'll, I'll up if somebody's actually interested about living here, you know. <clears throat> but I've studied it well, so to make sure myself and none of the neighbors will do my best to uh, don't uh, needlessly suffer what happened to me anymore. So well, there's not a quarantine, but it's definitely not a place to raise children. Really, um, most places, a lot of places in the, I won't say most, a lot of places in the Okanagan, uh, Kelowna South, um, probably are not a good place to raise children without being wise to this natural uranium problem, which is really a moot point because, you know, we've just increased the uh, multitude of different various kinds of radioactive elements with Fukushima, with the, so, yeah. <clears throat> Soon you won't even get away with it in Antarctica. 
Who wants to live here? Yeah, I know. Some people think they can live underground again. Yeah, that didn't work out for those of my era in the past that tried that. I'm not saying it's a terrible idea. I'm just saying don't don't, don't count on it. Because there's lots you don't know about the Earth. And I've tried to display in some of my work on the, on the YouTube channel. Hey guys, <laughs> getting bored? Oh, okay. They're saying I'm babbling too much. I am, you know, a little off. <coughs> it's it's that <coughs> the dating video thing. Maybe I need more practice. Uh, so my old dog friends. Oops, careful. Told you about the rocks. Are, are playful, you know. Sometimes. None of us are spring pups anymore, especially me, eh, guys? <laughs> They're host dogs. So, <clears throat> you have to be able to deal with them. Their mess. <laughs> and, um... And mine. I mean, we try and do our mess, but, I mean, we're not, um... We don't, uh, we don't have the time to make our living environment um, surgically sterile right now. I can't see that happening again anytime soon. Well, and if anyone's actually interested, they'll... questions like about living here like climate and industry eventually I'll uh, I've got lots of it on, on video of, on my YouTubes anyhow I'll uh, eventually compile it into links on screen here or in upcoming ones so you can go right to the uh, southern Okanagan playlist or whatever I just keep hoping, hoping that that editor will show up to do it, you know. <laughs> and she'll actually get a kick out of doing that kind of stuff, whereas I just get tortured by having to do the same shit over and over again. Actually, even saying the same shit over and over again can be, like, torture to me. In my lesser, uh, in my, um, more difficult moments, which, you know, we all have. So, there you go.